Today we just finished recording the 12 inch DC XL. Yeah, fresh recone, fresh from DC factory. So we're gonna run some uh, TS parameters and according to DC's website for the XL, this should have a SFS of nah, 38.5, right? So we're gonna do each individual coil, but something weird happened. One coil is off from the other one. If anybody could, uh, if anybody knows why, just let me know. So I'm gonna run coil, I don't know, whatever that one is. That coil over there first. We're gonna do the measure the free air parameters. And let's see what the results are. I don't know if you can see that, but the impedance is 5.552. I mean the RE, which is the DC impedance. I mean the DC resistance, not impedance. Um, and the FS is 48.9. That's a quite a bit off from the factory specs. All right, so let's do the other coil. All right. <coughs> other coil is hooked up. <coughs> now, let's see this one. This one happens to be 2.106. Uh, DCR and the FS is 48.2 and I ran this test like five times in a row and it's consistently way off so maybe it was something in the I don't know the way they wrap the coil manufacturing if anybody has any ideas let me know all right so we're gonna put the coils in series and see what the final FS is and see how close it is to the factory specs so we wired the coils up in series with that little red wire there. So let's see what the final impedance, I mean, DCR and FS is. So we got a final of 6.538 with a FS of 48.2. And according to their website, the FS should be around 38.5. It's not horribly off, but that impedance thing, I mean, the DCR thing is completely off. Um, we're gonna hook it up to that Tarap 3K base up there and play it a little while and see if the impedance drops. So remember the final impedance, fresh recone. I mean the final FS is 48.42 Hertz. So let's see if that drops any with a little bit of breaking in. All right, so we got it hooked up to the Tarap. And that's uh, 20 Hertz. So we're gonna let this break in for about oh, five minutes just to see if it changes any. DCR was 6.53 and uh, FS was 48.42. Uh -oh, so, I know it stinks. Jesus Christ, and that's no kind of power. The app wasn't clipping, right? No. Not even close. Here. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, just turn it down a bit. Let it just break it for like five minutes and then we'll we'll uh, test the FS again. Alright, so it's been breaking in at about 20 hertz for like 10, 20 minutes. I don't even know. So Anyway, hit the free air residence test. All right. So look at the RE. The RE is now 11.48. Ah, oh, I should have turned off the stupid flashlight. And the FS dropped to 46.7. Now I know why the RE went up so high. It's because um, the coils are heated up. The hotter it gets, the more resistance it has to it. And the FS dropped by like two hertz, so I guess it does help a little bit. It's like 107 degrees. Let me see. 107 degrees. Yeah. Yeah, so that probably caused the uh, RE to go up. All right, so I guess it does help a little bit on the FS from a fresh re uh, cone to a broken in. No. And anyway, we redid two sun sundown ZV5s, 
And this is a DC XL, and I can tell you the Sun L ZB5s, you could clip that amp on them and they were nothing. These, they start to stink up a little bit without even I'm giving it like 700 watts the if that much like 4, watts. these speakers these seems to be such a good company and now i would you couldn't give me a pair of dcs these shits are just flat out joke to me i mean everybody's entitled to their own opinion but i actually do testing on these things and they're just garbage they're freaking garbage the quality control sucks everything about it is just junk hey anyway that's my opinion but if anybody knows why one coil was so far off on on the dcr let us know all right, say bye. Bye.